After going unclaimed on the NFL waiver wire, Nathan Rourke has a workout lined up with the Falcons on a Wednesday. Atlanta tried to claim the Canadian earlier in the offseason, but lost out to their bid to the New York Giants, who released Rourke on Sunday. Since leaving the CFL 18 months ago, Rourke's been with three different NFL teams, but has not seen game action since last preseason. Joined now by our football insider, Dave Naylor. Dave, what are your thoughts on Rourke heading to Atlanta for a workout after going unclaimed on Monday? Well, I expect this may be the first of many workouts. Uh, once Nathan Rourke cleared waivers, his agent felt confident there would be opportunities with other teams interested. And, you know, when you look at that Atlanta depth chart, it doesn't jump out as an ideal place for Nathan Rourke. You look at the top of their depth chart, it's Kirk Cousins. It's Michael Penix, who is a recent first round pick. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of room for Nathan Rourke, but this is kind of going to be his lot in life now, I think, as an undrafted guy who doesn't have any NFL playing experience besides the preseason last season. He's going to have to go around and work out for teams and hope for an opportunity. Now, one of the things that training camp has just begun, so there are going to be injuries. There are going to be players, perhaps, that are going to be exposed when the pads come on and teams are looking for alternatives. So right now, I think that is the way Nathan Rourke is going to play this out. He's still determined to try to find a place for himself in the National Football League, but uh, it's very difficult to say whether that's going to be Atlanta or whether it may be one of many other places that uh, perhaps he will get an opportunity to work out in the weeks ahead. Yeah, there, I mean, there's still a lot of questions to be asked about Rourke's future in the NFL. Is this something fans of the CFL should be keeping an eye on? Well, certainly they should. I mean, this is the first time in his pro career that Nathan Rourke has been a free agent. I mean, he was drafted in the CFL by the BC Lions, played two years there before his contract expired with the Lions, signed with Jacksonville, and then twice picked up on waivers, once by the New England Patriots and once by the Giants. So, you know, when he's looking for a football home, and, you know, since he's down there, it's midseason in the CFL. Look, I think there is considerable interest in him in the CFL. In fact, I know that. that there are a lot of teams that are certainly, this has piqued their interest about when Nathan Rohr might decide to come back to Canada. Now, he said on one of our broadcasts roughly two weeks ago that if he was to return to Canada, his preferred spot would be the BC Lions, the team that drafted him. Uh, he has a very good relationship with both the coaching staff and management there. Of course, that's a little tricky because right now the Lions are having a great season. They're the highest scoring team in the CFL and they're led by Vernon Adams, who might be the favorite for the league's outstanding players. So uh, the economics of that would be challenging. Uh, there would be a lot of awkwardness beyond that. So, you know, if Nathan Rourke decides to devote the rest of this season to trying to find employment to the National Football League, it might be a lot cleaner for him to return to the BC Lions in the offseason than it would be part time this year. But certainly everybody in the CFL is watching all the news with Nathan Rourke because he is certainly a highly sought after player when and if he does decide to return to the CFL. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Since winning the CFL's most outstanding Canadian award in 2022, Rourke has spent time with, as you said, the Jags, Pats and Giants. Dave, thanks for this.